It's Brooke necessary. Now, before all you Brooke fanboy come at me and attack me, just hear me out, alright? Brooke was introduced literally right before my time skip. I feel that was a big and terrible decision on Oda Park. When Brooke was introduced, he showed up and threw a bark, was pretty funny. I mean, I like Brooke, he's hilarious. But he showed up, he did stop in that arc, and then he did a couple of things in uh, the Bodhi, but then he got separated from Luffy, and we don't see him for three goddamn arcs. Then he gets reintroduced to the story when we get back to us, the Bodhi, and we reunite. And then after we all reunite and the crew gets back together, when they go to Fifth Man Island, he does take out an enemy, but that is what? The second memorable enemy Rook has taken now? Is that the first or the second? I don't even know. But I cannot even, I cannot name Brooke's enemy. I, I cannot name the guy he fought there, but he was so unrememberable. I can name all of Nami's enemies. I can name, I can name a good amount of stops. I can name all of Luffy's, literally. I mean, I can do this. But with Brooke, it just, I had no idea. I'm not going to really remember the guy he fought. The point is, or the fight very well, the point is that, is he necessary? I don't really feel he would need it. Now, every other person on the ship has a needed reason. Chopper's a doctor. They need a doctor. They need Sanji to cook. They need Nami to navigate. But they don't need Brooke and his damn music. I love Brooke's music. Big Sasaki Idol. I love Brooke's music. I love Big Sasaki. I love all that. But in reality, do we need it? Like, does the crew need him? I don't really think they do. I feel like, I, guess, I think what happened was Odo running the musician in the crew, and but he had the time kick coming up, so he did throw a bark. I really think that's what happened, because honestly, Brooke, don't tell me you think the time Brooke would put into the story was terrible. Because then after fifth minute, he gets introduced, we all see him, we see him for two arcs, and all, he's only a member of the crew for one arc before he had not seen for three, and then he comes back, and after Fifth Man Island, he doesn't really do much on Punk Hazard. He does a little bit. And then we get to direct Rosa, and he's not even on the game. We don't see him for three goddamn years. Well, we could equate Sanji far away. And now, the whole not seeing Sanji and Brooke and Nami and Chopper for three years, that's a whole other video. But I have a tremendous problem with that. I feel like that was a big mistake on Oda Park. He could have shifted over here at Mary Blue Moon, not to give us any real... <coughs> information to give it us something, but he did it. But the point here is that it just, if you really look at Brooke, and you would see he would put into the series at a point that was just really inconvenient, inconvenient, I mean, and honestly, he didn't really get the chance to do much. I feel that Brooke is a character that's really just there to be there. He, he doesn't really get time to shine, and I feel like he probably gets the least attention by Oda. I would have, even Nami said, we don't need you, in, in chapter, what, 820? Yeah, it was 820. Because she would say, I feel responsible for saving Donnie, and really, she's like, we don't need you, Brooke, we don't need you in your music. We, I need to be there, to, because Luffy probably barely knows the difference between right and left. He's an idiot. He needs them. He needs me. Peckham is dying. Peckham is bleeding. He's sick. He needs Chopper, the doctor. But he doesn't need you and your music. That's pretty much what Nami said. Of course, Nami and Brooke are friends, but he didn't say it. This is a harsh way, like he doesn't need you and your stupid ass music. But I'm more important. No, but she does kind of say this. Because, because before she told Brooke he wasn't needed, she said, You need me, but don't t tell me for a second you could navigate yourself there on your own. Like well, exactly what she said. Now, this is where we run into the problem here. How is it going to work? I thought, what, Brooke, is it going to be off screen again for another arc? Is that how it's going to work? The irony is that ridiculous. Brooke is the main character, and I, I, I know he did. I love all the straw hat, but Brooke, he's easy to forget about. Like, when I think of the straw hat, I think of, like, Robin, Luffy, Laura, Chopper, Usopp, Nami, and Frankie. Brooke is always the last straw hat I think of. I'm not even kidding you. I'm not even kidding you. He's the last one, and... The last thing I want to talk about is really just overall his relevance. Now, first of all, I want to say this video recorded prior to chapter 821. The last chapter released was 820, and, and as of now, Brooke has only had one arc. 
where he was majorly involved in. Throw a bar. The body was not a key part of it. Punk Hazard, not a key part of it. Rick Rose, not. Was he even in the arc? Oh, right. That's why like five of five chapters that he went off with Nanji. Now, his role will be increasing, that is clear, but he knows something about the Vine Smoke family. But that is a whole nother video. My point is that was Brooke's placement in the crew necessary? After I talked about my thoughts on Brooke as a character, really. And I would say no. I really don't think Brooke's placement on the crew was necessary. I really. I did. I really feel you took Brooke out of the story. You could remove every Brooke moment. Would it change it that much? Would it really change it? You kept, you kept the battle against Komoria. He just didn't join the crew. Would it really change anything? I don't think it really would. And I mean, obviously, some things like interactions would be different. There'd be, you know, the, the straw hack would have problems with because they'd be outnumbered. But still, in the end, I mean, Conquer Taki or a King Con or like a one shotter, like a jet pistol, could take out most of Brooke's opponents quickly. So I don't really feel like they would be a big deal. And honestly, I just don't feel Brooke was necessary. I feel like Oda just put Brooke in there to put him in there. Probably just because he wanted Luffy to have a musician. Maybe he wanted to get in the anime stuff fast, something to work with in terms of music. I'm not sure. But I hope you enjoyed. Please like, comment, subscribe for more videos. And remember to follow me on Twitter. Also, this is just my opinion. And tell me your thoughts in the comments section down below. Have a great day. And once again, follow me on Twitter. Seriously, I want to get to 100 followers. Yeah. Bye.